Hey everybody, this is Eric Worry, and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. Have you ever felt the need online or in social media to block somebody because they just got to be too much? Or maybe you unfriend them, or maybe you unfollow them just because it got to be too obnoxious, it was too negative, it was too toxic. Uh, I put out a little fair warning to all of my friends on Facebook that said, you know, look, in this new political season that's coming up, if it's too negative, if it's sexist, ageist, religiousist, religiousist, snarky, mean-spirited, um, tacky, I'm, just, I'm not going to go into that this, this next time. This last time, I mean, I, there was everything in the world. Calling our, the leaders of our country communists, regardless of the party, you know, calling them, you know, the, the, you know doing some, saying some bad things. So anyway, I, I just don't have time for it. I, I, I choose to believe that the people who are elected officials in our company deserve re, in our country deserve respect, regardless of your p political affiliation. You can disagree, but do it with some class. Do it with some respect, do it with some dignity, right? Now there's also people that you know have been friends of mine or whatever, and I have to see their whatever, their maybe it's a you know bad sense of humor, maybe it's you know, uh, 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 distasteful in, in the way things are presented, whatever it happens to be, it's just not filling me up. It's just not helping me focus on what I need to focus on. It's just not helping me go in the direction of my purpose in my life. So I choose not to see it. So I'll unfriend those people, I'll unfollow those people, I'll block those posts from showing up on my Wall, guess what I want to see? I want to see something that's hopeful, something that's uplifting, something that's an example, something that's thoughtful. Can it be challenging? Yes, but thoughtful, intelligent, not mean-spirited, not snarky, not, not uh, said with a sneer on their face. You know what I mean? So here's what I wanted to tell you today. Yes, you can block. Yes, you can unfollow. Yes, you can unfriend people that are not helping you go in the direction of your dream on social media. But sometimes you also need to do it in real life. Sometimes there are people in your life, then listen to me, that you need to unfriend. There are some people in your real life that you need to unfollow. There are some people in your real life that you need to block because they are dripping on you with negative and pessimistic thoughts and comments and ideas that are distracting you from your purpose. It's a hard decision to make, but your life may depend on it. Your future may depend on it. Your career may depend on it. If you don't make some of those decisions, I promise you, your career will be a fraction of what it could be if you surrounded yourself with people who will help push you in the direction of your dream instead of distract you from your purpose. So, challenging idea, but an important one. It's one that I engage in, most of the successful people that I know, they just won't engage in the negative. They won't engage in the things that are distracting them from their purpose. They're very, very clear on what it is that they want to do and they surround themselves with people who are like-minded. And I'd encourage you to do the same thing. That's our show for today. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro, because it is a stone-cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.